Hello channel people, welcome back to my channel. This is Mandeep and you are watching my channel Explore with MD. So good morning, today I have started at around 4.30 and we are heading towards Kamakshi Amman Temple which is located at Kanchipuram. We started at around 4.30 and we have reached around 6.30 am in the morning. From my location to the temple, it's around 71 km. That's the reason we started a bit early and generally in this temple, it's pretty much crowded. So we did want to take risk and we went a little early to the temple. About Kamakshi temple, it's one of the highest aspects of Adi Shakti. It was built by the Pallavas. There is an image of the Adi Shakti which is seated in the Padmasana, one of the 51 Shakti Peets which are sacred shrines built around the falling body parts from the corpus of Goddess Shakti from heaven. It is believed that the navel part of her body fell at this site, thus making it a holy abode. There is no entry fee to the temple. Photography is not allowed inside the temple, so we have limited access to the places. So this is the kind of entrance where I am going right now. So inside the temple, I will not be able to show you the videos. The timings of the temples is 5.30 am to 12 pm and 3.30 pm to 8 pm. So plan your visit accordingly. She is venerated for being the goddess of fertility and blessing childless couples with pregnancy. This temple is also popular for other devotees. It was a pleasant weather that day and it was a very sunny day. So go early in the morning as soon as possible. Next we came to the Akambareshwar temple which is dedicated to Lord Shiva and is located just 800 meters from the Kamakshi temple. And if you see the architectures there it is a masterpiece of its own. All the designs in the walls were made with perfection. The temple has 6 daily rituals at various timings starting from 3.30 am to 4 pm. The story says the Shiva got the name Ekambareshwar because of Parvati, who was cursed to become dark, performed a penance under the mango tree by the Bhagavati river to get rid of her sin. To test Parvati's devotion, Shiva sent fire to which Parvati prayed to Lord Vishnu for help. The mango tree is still there and you can see that inside the temple. But as video recording was not allowed inside the temple, we were not able to show you. Once you go there, you can see it in the right left corner of the temple. Kamakshi temple was pretty much crowded and Ekambareshwar temple was not that much crowded. So there was a kind of peace you can feel. The pillars you can see right next here, those are thousand pillars there. If you count them, there are thousand pillars. As camera was not allowed inside the temple, we are not able to show you inside the temple. So once you go there, please visit. With that, I am closing my vlog today. See you soon with my next vlog. So before you go, please like, share and subscribe. So I'm sharing you a couple of glimpses of the trip today. Thank you. Bye-bye.